Hello, welcome to Aaron Plays. In this episode, we are setting up scenario 18 of Storming the Gap called Pandemonium. This is the third and final scenario of a linked three that were in the actual scenario book, starting with scenario 15, then moving on to 17, and the eight, then now scenario 18. This is following the East German third Panzer Corps um, as it breaks through um, to the Rhine. Um, this scenario, um, I've set up NATO forces um, as best as, well, as best as I think I can, um, ready for the Warsaw Pact to enter the actual map board. I am as yet unsure which um, faction I'll be playing. Once I actually complete the setup, um, I will then dialogue to see which side I am. Uh, setting up this scenario has caused or um, some issues. There's a fair bit of errata on the scenario. I'm not 100% certain that what, what I've actually now got is correct, but this is the way I'm going to play it. Um, first off, we have the victory conditions. So let me go through what they actually are. And um, yeah, we can end this. So it says victory conditions. If the US exits three or more of any M1 Abrams and M603 units off the West Edge now, currently, okay, the West Edge is the top of the map sheet here. So north is over here. So that's the West Edge. Okay. So the US have got to exit, for, this is for a decisive victory. We will exit three of this type of tank for the Abrams and also retain control of, a, of objective A and B. All right, this is objective B. This is objective A. Now, the US are not allowed to set up on this map board for the scenario. So to defend this, they'd have to advance to it and at the same time remove three, so 50% of their tank force. So considering what the forces they're facing, I don't think that's practical. So I'm not even going to go try, even for the, no matter who's playing the, the NATO forces, be it myself or the solo assistant, I'm not going to go for that objective. Um, so the secondary object, or well, for a marginal win for the US forces, the US exits one or two, or any combination of M1 M rooms or M603. Well, one or two, why do you want to exit two if you can exit one? So that's why this tank's been set up here to exit. That part will be then fulfilled and retains control of either objective A or objective B by the end of the game. Well, again, why would you try to gain control of this objective, advance to it when you're already to deploy within four hexes of this objective. And you've got minefields, you've got dug in and such forth. So something seems a little bit off on there, but there we go. So effectively, the way I've set it up is that the, the Americans have got to hold on to this objective and exit one unit off the map, which is sitting there waiting to go because these can set up anywhere on map three. Um, so they will literally just exit off the map edge there. Okay. Um, so that was my first little issue with the with the scenario as is. Then, um, so with with that in mind, I will be defending here. So the the setup for the Americans were the, let me just move myself to the side a little bit here. The M3, sorry, the M1 Abrams, we set up anywhere on map board three. The pattern tanks here, the M60s, can be set up anywhere on map board three. And the infantry formation, anywhere within four hexes of objective B, which is here, so there's everybody else. Um, 
the thought here is there are four improved positions one, two, three, and I think there's one in here. Four, yeah. Um, they've got to be within, the, again, the four hexes of the, of the um, objective. But I have put the Abrams in some of them and infantry unit over here. The minefields are hidden. Now, obviously, um, playing it solo, hidden is a bit tricky. So the way I'm looking at it is if I do play NATO, this is the locations of them. If um, and the, the Russians, sorry, the Warsaw Pact will not know these locations. So they will treat these as empty hexes until they go boom. Um, if I play the Warsaw Pact, I'll remove these minefields. And then I will roll a dice of some form. I, I haven't worked out exactly how I'm going to do it. Um, anytime I move within, now the minefield's got to be set up within line of sight of one of the infantry formations, units, uh, within four hexes of those, I believe, and line of sight. Um, they may place anywhere on the map in line of sight of any unit of the command, but not within four hexes of map edge and not adjacent to a city hex. So when any of those apply, so for example, this is part of the infantry command, so there could be a minefield here, 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 as long as not four hexes, I'll roll a dice um, when it seems a, a possible logical placement. I mean, one of the options I was thinking of was blocking this area here completely, these minefields, so if they come this way, they would, you know, four minefields along here, or within four hexes of him, one, two, three, four, you know, would make their approach very difficult here. Um, actually, this, this is a good point, that would. But then again, I don't know if I'm going to be playing that. So I've also got to think that the Warsaw Pact could be entering from this side as well. Um, regarding Warsaw Pact entry, okay, they've got two main formations, an infantry one here with 10... Um, infantry with transport plus 10 T-72s. Uh, they can enter anywhere from, so on board one, okay, on, I believe it's all, all three sides. Um, on the north, east or south map edge. So what I will do, even if I do play the Warsaw Pact, I will roll for their entry. So one, two, this side, three, four, that side, and five, six, this side, for each formation. Okay, just to keep myself a little bit on so There's also some Soviet reinforcements coming in on turn four, which are heli-bound troops, which are coming on... Um, north of map three. So they're coming along this edge here. Okay, in helicopters. Um, so yeah, it's an all-round defense um, focused on, on this situation here. So any suggestions that you can give me for, well, let, let's see which side I'm gonna play. That's, that's the setup as is, okay. Um, cards are all in the, in the draw, ready to go. Um, what I'll do is I'll determine which side I'm going to be now. So one, two, three, I'm NATO. Four, five, six, I'm Warsaw Pact. Okay, so I'm playing the NATO. So the, that resolves the problem of these, my field. That is their location. Don't have to worry about double guessing myself. So, um, I'll, should I roll? I'll roll for these Warsaw Pact. No, I'll roll for these as they enter. Okay. Um, that way, depending on, on the entry, I will not quite know what's they're gonna where they're gonna come on. Okay. So other than that, there's a little bit of off-board artillery that NATO forces have. 
Okay, so here's the turn sequence. So on turn two, one Cobra reinforcement, that would be coming on from the West Edge. Uh, turn four, that's the Soviet Special Forces coming in. Um, they've got two cards in the, in, the, in the, well, not as yet, but once they do activate, they've got two cards. There's the a Warthog that I'll be getting his reinforcements again on turn five. It's a 10 turn scenario. In the pack here, there are three end of operations cards. Um, the battlefield friction's in there. There's one set of HE high explosive, one set of DPICM. What do your purpose improve conventional munitions? Never used it before. I'll probably have to double check the rules on that. Um, one round of MLRS, multiple launcher rocket systems. Again, never used it. So I'll be checking the rules on that too. So new to me in this scenario is also to say some of those artillery types I mentioned. Um, and there are the special forces coming in by helicopter. So it'll be a hello landing, um, which I've, again, never done before. So if there's going to be errors, I do apologize. It's a learning curve for me. Hopefully, again, we'll get some comments pointing out mistakes that I do make. So it's not going to be error free. Um, but hopefully we'll get through this and um, I hope you'll enjoy it. So like and subscribe and press the little bell button so you get any updates on this scenario. I'll be saving this now and ready to start as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.